So, um, first of all, we, we need to know, well, what is agility? So, um, technically, it's been very difficult to define. Um, so, there, has been, there hasn't been any real consensus in the, re in the research. And people have traditionally defined it as the physical action, action stopping and starting without any recognition of the integral role that the brain or the mind um, and the ever-changing dynamic nature of soccer play when it comes to uh, agility performance. And while there are several definitions of agility, we at Beyond Pulse, like Professor Stegen and his colleagues, define agility um, as a physical skill in which players can slow down or change direction or speed up in response to um, a cue, in response to the environment, in response to the movement of an opponent, in anticipation of a pass teammate. So they're responding to a task, to a clue, to a cue, to a movement, to an opponent, to a teammate. And that's the real important part of agility. So we're, we're looking at move, thinking fast to move fast. So um, if we've now descri described what is agility, a little bit about what seems to be perceived as agility, especially if we look in, in, in the internet. So um, a simple search for examples of agility um, drills on YouTube or any other social media platform um, will produce a whole host of entertaining clips, of players performing different movements at pace and with exceptional coordination through ladders, cones, poles, obstacle courses, um, etc. You name it and you find it. And um, so you'll be able to see a video in the background now as I'm just speaking through this, okay? Um, and it'll come up in very, very shortly. So um, these drills are excellent for developing coordination um, and qualities such as improving stride frequency. And what we mean by stride frequency, again, is fast feet. So the, um, how quick we can, we can impact force on the ground. They don't necessarily help to improve players' agility performance. Now, that's not to say that these practice drills should be removed from practice sessions. Um, we're far from it. In fact, we use it as part of our th three stages. Um, and we feel they should be embraced as they certainly help to develop fundamental movement quality, which will, which will eventually help you to um, excel at soccer. However, these pre-planned movements, such as turning at a cone or shuffling laterally or uh, um, over, very rarely occur during the actual game. So it's important that we progress on these pre-planned movements, looking at stage one, then moving on to stage two, which is reactive, and then stage three, when we're talking about um, competitive small-sided games.